Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today we're going to be reviewing a knockoff version of an SH Figure Art Brawly. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so before we get into this little video, I just want to give a quick little shout out to uh, Kane Rohrbach. Um, he's a really cool guy. You guys could go follow him on Instagram. I'll have a link down below to his to his Instagram page. He does these really cool uh, wrestling belts. Uh, these things are freaking awesome. Look at these things. So uh, go follow him, guys. Go check him out. His link will be down below. Um, tell him that I sent you. Uh, let you know. Let this community get bigger. Uh, go give him a follow on Instagram. Go check out his work. You guys might want something from him. Um, if you guys are into wrestling these builds these the stuff that he built is legit man like the the belts that he makes freaking awesome like it, really really legit looking belts so uh go check them out guys tell them i said uh tell them i sent you guys so um you know we can get this community going this cool little art collectibles uh cool little community going so anyways without any further ado let's get it right into the review of this awesome figure all right guys so um this is a knockoff before we get into that i want to show you guys the package that it came into it came in it came in this little uh, foam looking um this bubbles bubble wrap type of thing really cool looking packaging this is awesome packaging I, I, not even the original sh figure art sent something like this but even with the package like this you know, USPS <laughs> still somehow manages to do this damage to it. Check that out. It's completely damaged. Look at that. Completely damaged. Like, this is a big old dent here. I know you guys could see the dent right there. And a big old dent right there. And it's all smashed in right there. <laughs> it's like, like, seriously, like, it had that good package you know the good packaging but usps still somehow managed to screw it up i don't get it i don't get it so anyways let's take a look at the box outside uh for comparison it, it, it looks pretty pretty similar if you look at it just this this uh picture right here it's a little bit lighter uh you could tell this one has a nice little matte finish to it a little bit of a shine to it but not too much it's still matte colored this one's super matte <laughs> it's like really really flat it looks like a printout or something you know what i mean but it still looks pretty legit uh this looks exactly the same but it doesn't have the funnel mission thing the bandai the tamashi nation the dragon ball thing and all these little specs here and there doesn't have them doesn't have the brawly doesn't have the sh figure arts crit written across all these little uh chinese or japanese it looks like japanese um writing down here doesn't have it this one just says legend creations <clears throat> which i think is the company that actually makes these knockout figures um as far as the sides uh it just has brawly at the end or broly i just say because a lot of uh this is some people are like trying to correct me saying that it's not it's not brawly it's broly but if you guys go on and search people, a lot of people say Brawly and a lot of people say Broly. It depends on what, you know, part of the country you're from. But, you know, it, it, it's it's okay. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but, yeah, it, it, Brawly or Broly, whatever way you want to say it, um, it just doesn't have the SH figure art here on this one. <clears throat> so as far as the back goes, that is the original price but i did not pay that much honestly didn't pay that much i got a big old discount on this guy so uh as far as the back it looks pretty legit it's just that this is a, a light bit it's a, li a little bit lighter than this color right here uh this is a little bit darker tone even though my box is all messed up up here too i, I accidentally smashed it like an idiot but um as far as this, this is a lot thicker than this is i guess it's the same writing looks like it's the same saying the same thing i don't know i don't understand japanese uh this is different the sticker um this they put it on on the um barnes and noble that's where i bought this guy um but 
um, that's why this one doesn't have it. Zero to three years. Um, all this is completely different. All this is different. Um, this is different. Simple style and heroic action. So SH figure arts is there. This is not there. Um, these are the same images. So you guys can tell. This is the same. Uh, this looks like it says the same thing. Yeah. Same thing. <clears throat> the other side is exactly the same thing, except that it doesn't have SH figure arts and it doesn't have this Japanese right in here. And then the top, exactly the same. The size of them is exactly the same. Let me look that up. You guys can see they're the same size. <clears throat> Let me center my little camera here. So, yeah, so let's open this guy up. We'll mess with them a little bit and then we'll compare it to the original one <clears throat> so the packaging itself looks pretty legit like if you look at the original one and this one the packaging looks still pretty good so this one has that's just sticker tape I should say I'm gonna lay it down because everything's gonna fall off. Let's take it out. All right. So as far as the faces go, um, they they look okay, but you could tell they're plastic. Like it's not the same type of plastic. It is kind of still kind of flexible plastic, but it's not uh, the same as the SH Figure Art plastic. And then the coloring's a little bit off. I think, um, and then the teeth look kind of, I don't know, like he has a gap there and he has a gap up here. And then the colored inside isn't all that great. But other than that, it's okay. And there's this smirk. It looks like he's missing a, a, <laughs> a tooth over here on the side over here with this little grin. But as far as the paint job goes, not all that great, but I mean, you could always fix that. I could always fix that, so it's not a big deal. Uh, the hands comes with the exact same hands. You could tell this plastic is a little bit cheaper plastic. Um, yeah, it looks like a cheaper plastic, but... Nonetheless, it looks, it looks okay. But I mean, you could see all the little seams, all the little lines right here. You could see them all it's very visible and then I don't know what the heck he's, he was he was doing <laughs> I don't know what's all that white stuff in there but uh, and then this one's okay <clears throat> yeah I don't know what all that white stuff is and I really don't want to touch that stuff anyway so let's get out the figure himself let's check out the figure himself wow this, this is pretty it's pretty heavy, man. It's 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 some good material. It's got some weight on them. It's, it's pretty freaking good. I could already see this. You guys see that? That's pretty bad. <laughs> that is pretty bad. But other than that, I mean, even like the texture of this thing, the the material, it's pretty pretty solid. It's pretty nice. It's a nice material. It's like it's not super solid, but it's like a like a flex to it, you know what I mean? But it's it's a good material. Wow. Wow wow wow. I'm impressed. I am impressed. So let's see the articulation. So it does go back that much. It does go forward that much. I noticed too that it doesn't have the butterfly uh uh little joints here. So his uh, his hands can't his arms don't flex all the way as you guys could tell it's it's like a little ballpoint uh, joint in there. I don't know if you guys could see it or not, but it's a little ballpoint in there. And so it gives you, it gives it this movement. It goes up to that high. This, it's not bad, but it does, it still doesn't have the butterfly shoulders. It makes, you know, the shoulders go inward, which is pretty freaking awesome with the original one. And I'll show you guys that in a bit when I compare them side by side. Um, this is pretty good still. This goes up all this way. It's not bad actually. It's not bad at all. It's pretty good for the for the price point. I mean, this was this was thirty bucks shipped, thirty dollars shipped. Uh, so I mean, 
it's it's good <laughs> for thirty dollars ship like look at this thing this is still really good rubbery feel yeah man this is pretty good but awesome it's pretty good like the shading isn't all that great the joint here mm, it on the original one you can't see all oh, this big old gap there but I mean it isn't bad it's not bad at all well, there's the rest of them this back looks pretty cool they even give some shading to it you guys can see it's, it's some kind of shading inside there that looks pretty good man it looks pretty good for a figure like this and so the feet let's see that articulates pretty good goes like this yeah and then the foot I don't know if this foot even goes up the little peg there goes I don't know I hope I don't break it oh it does go up but but that looks kind of funky <laughs> that looks kind of weird isn't it like his toe going like that looks like he broke his toe or something I don't know it looks weird to me but um really not that much complaints honestly for the you know for being the price that it is the color is off like his his hair color is off it's a lot lighter here um or like a weird green but yeah other than that pretty good figure pretty good figure all around like yeah uh as far as this phase let's see if we could take out his phase the exact same thing as the original one does this come off oh. yeah and then you can switch out the faces put his hair back on pretty good pretty freaking good I gotta say I'm impressed I'm impressed I should have ordered more of them <laughs> I'm kind of regretting now not, not uh, buying more of these guys I should have at least bought two or three of these guys but yeah, it rotates pretty good. There's a click in there for some reason. Oh, it's got these kind of joints. It's got little clicks in there, see? But that's not bad. No, I don't mind it. It's still pretty good figure, man. It's still a really good figure. Like, it's super solid. I like it, man. Let's change his arms. See what his arms... Oh, look, you guys can see there's a lot of uh, paint mishap there they didn't paint it all good but i mean you expect that from you know a figure that costs this much with this much articulation so let's change his arms oh see the peg gets stuck in there instead of the peg getting stuck in here so you guys could change that and just pop it on for some reason the peg gets stuck in here let me try to take it off and then i'll be right back all right so i switched the hands around and I noticed that big old black spot right there. But whatever. His hands go on pretty good. Let's see if this one, the peg comes out. Oh, there you go. That's better. Let's switch the arm. I don't want that milky arm. <laughs> Such as arm. There we go. It's pretty good. Oops. Came back out. Oh yeah, he's pretty. It's a pretty solid figure, man. Pretty solid figure. There's a little things here and there, but I mean, you don't expect that much from a, from a cheaper figure. So, anyways, let's compare it to the original one. All right, guys. So, can you guys, do you guys know which one's the actual SH figure art and which one's the knockoff? It's pretty hard to tell, huh? <laughs> I'll give you guys a second left or right left or right which one's a fake one if you guys guess this one you guys are completely right this is the original one as as i was telling you guys these are the butterfly shoulders these move forward like this and you can see the shading is a lot better on this one uh this figure is a lot more solid but I kind of like the texture on this one, to tell you the honest truth, the way, the type of plastic this is, this is a really good plastic. But, 
<clears throat> I do like this one better. And he is a little bit taller, actually. The original one is a little bit taller. You guys can see his shoulder length. There's his shoulder length right there. Come here, let me get a stick. So he is a bit taller. Just a bit taller. And um, the original one's a bit taller than the, than the fake one. But, I mean, it's not a big deal. As you guys can see, the legs, these are a lot better. If you turn this guy. Oh, actually, you could see the gap right there. I thought you couldn't see the gap. I was wrong. I was wrong. But, I mean, this one's a lot. The gap's a lot bigger. You guys could see it's a lot bigger. I didn't think this one had a gap, but I was wrong. I was wrong. But this one, like, the flexibility on this one, this one has an actual hinge in there. And this one doesn't. This one has just, it's just glued on to the actual butt. <laughs> it's glued on to the butt right there. But as far as the material, it doesn't feel that much different. It's it's there. <laughs> it's really there. And I, you could tell they actually copied it. It's like a clone of this. Because you could see all the little wrinkles are exactly the same on this thing as it is in this thing. So you could tell they just, they cloned it somehow. But for some reason, it's a lot smaller is pretty freaking weird as far as a fecal on this one too it's the same thing i didn't realize that it was the exact same thing but it is the exact same thing it opens up exactly the same come on camera focus there we go so it is the exact same thing it's pretty crazy pretty crazy so yeah this one's a bit bigger it's a little bit bulkier than this one but i mean this one isn't bad i am gonna change this guy to someone else um so stay tuned for that i am gonna convert him as to into some somebody else uh but let me know in the comments down below guys if i still get comments i am gonna put this video as a as a as not for kids video because i'm i i'd rather have the comments in there because i like talking to you guys so yeah these figures are usually for adult collectors i don't think the kids are going to be paying that much money for an action figure as adult will uh will because the adults have money and the kids don't really have that much money unless the parents want to pay for something like this for a kid just to break it which i don't think they'll do because these guys are really really expensive um but this guy isn't that much that expensive i mean 30 dollars to be shipped internationally from china you know what i mean F from it to come all the way from china to the u.s um shipping is a lot of money and i only paid 30 bucks for it completely just 30 bucks plus and there's no plus shipping it's just everything including shipped 30 bucks which is pretty freaking good so if you guys can't afford this guy i do suggest you guys pick this guy up because this guy is worth the money it really is worth the money if you guys want to pay 80 bucks for this dude and right now it's going this guy's going for 100 bucks right now plus shipping which would be like, you know, eight, nine dollars, probably ten dollars, depending on where you get it from. So it'll be like a hundred dollars plus shipping, or eighty dollars if you guys get lucky and you guys could still find him. Eighty dollars plus shipping. So it'll be like ninety dollars, almost a hundred dollars, as opposed to just paying thirty dollars with the shipping. You know what I mean? So I mean this guy's worth it. And if you guys are like me and you guys like to paint your figures and stuff like that, definitely, definitely, definitely worth picking this guy up. If you guys don't want to pay, you know, an arm and a leg for this guy. But if you guys do have the money, I suggest you guys pick this guy up. Because this guy is freaking awesome. This is one of my favorite figures that I have. SH figure arts wise. Freaking. This guy is just amazing. Amazing figure. This guy is really cool. Um, so yeah, there goes the comparison guys. Like it's, it's like spot on. And you could even see the little cuts are exactly the same. <laughs> even got that little line in the middle pretty nuts pretty nuts it's like they cloned this guy but they didn't you know they shrunk him somehow but anyways um as far as the faces go you guys could see this one's a lot a lot smoother Let me put his arm down then this guy this guy's paint is not all that great but this guy really good like the shading and everything in there really nice really nice shading and then let me let me compare the faces so this is a grinning face this is the original this is a copy this one looks a lot better 
But I mean, you could always fix that with just, you know, a quick little paint. And this is a angry little grin or a little angry stat or mad face. So, yeah. A lot better. You could see, see a little shading here, a little shading there. The face is a lot better looking. They use the eyes, I don't know, like they messed up the eyes somehow. You guys can see there's a lot of paint splot or splash onto that one. This one, perfect lines all over it. So yeah, there's there is there is a difference, guys, but like I said, I recommend it. If you guys don't want to pay the price for the, you know for an actual one, I recommend you guys buying this dude even though your package is going to come all screwed up thanks to uh, uh u.s post office <laughs> yeah, i don't understand they got one job to do and they still screwed all up man i don't i don't understand it's not all of them i'm not gonna you know say that every single one of these usps guys uh you know trashes your your packages but a lot of them do a lot of them don't care they just throw your packages all over the dang place even though you paid so much money for it but anyways uh, so yeah, pick this guy up if you guys don't want to, you know, pay the eighty dollars or a hundred dollars now for this dude for the original one. I suggest you guys pick this up. It's a really, really good cloppy or little, a really good clone. I was gonna say clone and copy at the same time, so I said cloppy. Anyways, pick him up, guys. Pick him up. It's worth it. It's super heavy. Um, I think it's kind of the same weight actually. So solid figure, guys. Solid figure. Go check him out. I did order uh, the Manjin Boo, the well, it's called the SH figure. I calls him Evil Boo for some reason. They call him Evil Boo, but that's really not Evil Boo. If you guys actually follow Dragon Ball, um, that is not Evil Boo. It's just you know the thin Boo, or just Boo. Um, but I did order him uh, the clone of of the Boo. I ordered him out, so uh, he should be getting here, I don't know, within a month. Because <laughs> this guy took almost a whole month to get here. So, uh, which is understandable because it's coming from China. So, um, so anyways, guys, to conclude this video, it is running super long. Uh, I just want to say, go pick him up, guys, or girls. I know a lot of girls have been subscribing to my channel. I've been checking out my analytics, and I've seen the girls that are subscribing to my channel. Welcome to the channel, girls and guys, and everyone that's subscribing. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you, guys, all of you, everyone. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Um, like I said, guys, go check out my friend Kane. Uh, check out his Instagrams. Are you guys are in? instagram page if you guys are into wrestling go check him out you guys won't regret it this guy does really really cool belts go check him out anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this episode please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do guess what you guys will see me on the next one peace